everybody, welcome to Scarage Way. We are about to talk to Eileen the Crow, the hunter of hunters. Oh, a hunter, are you? And an outsider? Uh, maybe. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here, to welcome the new hunter. Great voice acting. I missed Eileen the first time I played. <laughs> I'm sure most people do, but there are no humans left. Beast. No flesh hungry beasts now. I think the first time I played, I just assumed she was an enemy. Mm hmm. Um, and actually engaged her in combat and she killed me. Hey, shake it off. What are you um, oh, another thing to say about this game, and I guess most from software games, uh, just how good the voice acting is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, so this game came out in 2015. Do you think it s still stands up as the game of the year of that, of 2015? Well, it's that or Witcher 3, and they're both amazing. I, and I like, you know, Ow. like like I think about it back and forth. But I think, in some ways, Bloodborne is the 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 stronger achievement. Mm hmm. Um, because a, as good as The Witcher Three is, damn it, the the path forward for The Witcher Three to be as strong as it, as it is, is already laid out. Whoa! Hey, I, I don't know. It's they're both amazing, but I, I still kind of think that the Bloodborne is 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 stronger as a game of the year. Mm -hmm. Although, like, if I had to choose one to play just now, I think it almost always would be The Witcher Three. <laughs> yeah, because this game is very stressful. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it's just so weird, like, I mean, it's kind of always arbitrary to even talk about Game of the Year, because, like, why can there only be one? Right. Or, like, because there's, like, games are so different, you know? I mean, it'd be kind of like, I mean, I, I'm sure people do Songs of the Year as well, but, like, there's so many genres, and it's like, so mood-based. Yeah. I think that's a, uh, some armor over there. But. I, I don't think we can get to it from here. Yeah. Um, and it, that's the thing, how strong both of those games are, that oh. we're still talking about them four years later, and we'll continue to talk to them, about them as long as people talk about video games, I think. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's, it's not like a, like, lame duck year, like a 20, uh, 2014 Mm -hmm. Where you're like, uh, what, what is game of the year? I, I guess, guess Dragon Age Inquisition. I, I guess, yeah, because there's like nothing else that came out of any lasting consequence that I can think of at least. Can I get a backstab on these guys? Yeah. Damn oh, it. Not when you do that. What did I do? Uh, when you alert them. Oh. Oh, you got it. Yes. Right in the gut. Right or in the kisser. Nicely done, dude. Yeah, I needed that. This is a person to talk to, right? Uh, eventually. I mean, this is one of the doors that Patches will talk to you later in the game. Really? Yep. Patches? Yeah, Patches. We'll talk to you through that door. Yes. Okay. Or he can, or, um... Weird. There are different doors that he can talk to you through. You know what must have been, like, pretty popular in the year 2015 is, like, because Metal Gear Solid 5 does this as well, the getting covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> I always just imagine, like, when, like, a similar gameplay mechanic or aesthetic... There's a, in a GDC bunch of talk yeah, there must three have, like, years a G before. Yeah, that they all went to and fell in love with. Oh, this is really sad, by the way. I'm all alone. I'm scared. Get over it. Boo-hoo. No. We're just going to be a baby your whole life. The red-jawed brooch. It's so big and 
and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mum, give her this music box. Yeah, do you this, think this this game says a lot with very little? Yeah. yeah. You know? I mean, it's like just a. Per did, that's, did she give you the music? Yes. Box? Okay. Good. It's just a perfect example right there of like storytelling integrated with, um, like mechanics of like. Here is like this mechanic of like a boss battle of a guy who becomes a werewolf halfway through. Yes. But then, worked could, back and contextualized in this world where that is like a kid's dad. And right. like that, and then what? How would those kids feel about that? And how would the kids react to seeing their dad turn into a werewolf? And how would they cope with that? And what would, br and what would bring that? You know, and it's just. And it doesn't tell you like, nothing is on the nose. Yeah. Um. You, the first on the nose storytelling from this team was in Sekiro, <laughs> mm -hmm. where you're halfway through, and then they start like info dumping on you. It's like. I don't mind info dumping halfway through a game, but it seems so inc incongruous for this team that says that their kind of trademark is to say very a lot with very little. You know, I mean, there is info dumping like at the beginning of like some of the Souls games, like Dark Souls Two is pretty wordy up front. Yeah. Who's a good puppy? Ugh. Killing dogs bummed me the fuck out. <laughs> well, get ready for Last of Us 2, man. You're gonna be killing a lot of dogs. Oh. Apparently you don't need to, according to Druckman. Oh. Druckman? Damn it. Man, hey. I really need some blood oh. vials. Holy Christ. That crow just ate your souls, man. <sighs> Who knew Bloodborne would be so tough? Especially when we're just like fucking shooting the shit. Yeah. Th this is not a game for playing lightly. Yeah. I mean, like, I, and, and like also like I know Joe was like kind of joking around at the start of this that like, oh, like, wow, look at Jacob's like really good at Bloodborne. Um, I'm like good at like running through areas. <laughs> and that that's being good at Bloodborne. I mean, that's part of it. Yeah, uh, but like I was, I got the DLC, and I was never able to beat the DLC. I was not good enough for that, dude. I barely beat the main game. Um, and, and to, but to my credit, also it had been like six months since I had played Bloodborne when I was playing the DLC, and I was on New Game Plus. I had just started New Game Plus. So and the, and the DLC expects you to be on your game. Yeah. And that's the thing, as much as these, I think these games control really well, you need to be in it. To win it. Um, Let's see, what's the fastest way to get to my souls? Run run through here? No, that is that goes to uh, the Cleric Beast. You're, no, you're not this way. Away. No, this way. To get to my souls. Because right, I opened because up that gate. I opened up that gate. That... Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yes, yes, yes. And take a left. Oh, you, you could take a right and drop down and get that extra, the better armor. This way? Yeah. Okay. And then take to the left. left. Yep. Oh, please say that I'm right. Yep, I am. Okay, good. Okay, and then make sure that you drop on the... Uh, okay, you can drop down onto... Yep. Okay. Okay. And there's some better armor down Zisue. I love Ouch. I love the level design in this. It's it, so intricate and amazing. Could have just gone down that ladder. <laughs> it really is 3D Castlevania. Or, oh yeah. Uh, uh Symphony uh, of the Night, I mean. Yeah. Suck it. No. Oh, that, always, <laughs> that always sucks. 
I'm gonna jump down there to get my uh, my prize. My prize. You know, I think um, we should audition to be voice actors in the next uh, Souls game. <laughs> <laughs> That would Oi, be so, that would, that would be so sad. <laughs> Man, from software would have to fall in some really hard times. <laughs> All right. Yep, I think I don't think it's is it that? Is it not? I thought you had to land on that beam perfectly to get the good I think arm. it's down below. Yeah, I think it's oh, right down there. Ball sack. Oh. Damn you, Christ! Yo. Oh, that rat's in your souls. <sighs> oh, hey, look at his little nose. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. This is one of those uh, f my life situations. Yeah. Man, uh, man alive. I mean, this is what Souls games are like, right? Authentic experience right now. Yeah. A lot of swearing. A lot of like, okay, just take a deep breath. Um, I have a methodology about Souls games that uh, Spotify is is very important. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the things I never threw an area an area the first time or a boss fight the first time never Spotify. But as I'm like uh, growing accustomed to just to get my nerves in check. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I just need something to listen to that doesn't remind me of how tense everything is. No. Uh, so I w want the experience of it being tense. Um, but uh, I don't think I, I, I don't think I could play these games if it was that feeling all of the time of my heart in my chest and my stomach tied in knots. Mm hmm. I, I don't, I. I'm not saying it wouldn't be good, I'm just saying I don't think I could do it. Oh, you're bone, man. Oh. Fuck nuggets! <laughs> well, at least you got the... <laughs> hunter's hat. Hunter hat. The hunter hat. Uh, yeah, well, what's funny is like... Uh, so like, I love level grinding in a Souls game. And I love listening to NSP while level grinding in a Souls game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was like peak NSP for both of us. Yeah. So um, like they had their albums, Strawberries and Cream, and then the what's the first album called? Uh, not safe for work. Um, or NSFW. Yeah. Which could stand for like a bunch of different silly things. Uh, well, not safe for work because I think the the usual. Well, I yeah, but in their um, in the album art, they have like a bunch of different acronyms that are also NSFW. Oh, do they? Yeah. Um, like, but so they had those two needing, albums. Um, salty. Oh. Fragmented. Worms. Okay. So you know, they had a bunch of those. Sure. Um. So. Uh, like, and they also had, I think, a Starbomb album out at the time. And I, oh, yeah, 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 and yeah. I just remember, like, just listening to that over and over and over again. Yeah. God, and get the freaking, use your gun, you idiot. Yeah, at, the, at some point, like, it, like, kind of makes the defeats okay. You know, it's, this is, um... I mean, I, I've done it before. I was about to say, like, I, I you know, I, I can't understand the mentality of, of not, you know, trying to, like, blow off steam in the game just to get good at it so that you don't die continually because I did that with Demon Souls, you know. But I, I was at this, like, weird, like, super depressed point in my life uh -huh. <laughs> where, like, Demon Souls is like, okay, this is just life now. Uh -huh. You know, the world's just going to fucking kick me in the nuts over and over again, and I'll just have to get used to it. 
Well, I don't think I could do that again. Remember that, like, Seamus Blackley's YouTube channel? Like, he talked about Oh, yeah, about he talks how, about Dark Souls. When he got into Dark Souls, how he got... He had, like, a serious depressive episode uh, and how Dark Souls helped him get over it. I kind of feel that way about the first... Or, uh, uh, uh for Demon Souls. Mm-hmm. Um, it was just, you know... You know, that's... I just kind of I needed it mm-hmm. needed it to like just destroy me mm-hmm. you know in a weird way just totally wreck wreck you yeah wrecked him wrecked me I didn't even know me ah <laughs> uh, uh, we have fun here do we <laughs> no I do we do <laughs> something I also really like about Bloodborne like over some of the other Souls games is uh like Dark Souls 2 and 3 uh-huh. uh, are, like, really, like, heavy with, um... No, I don't need to go up there. Uh, like, bonfires. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And so, bonfires are, like, your little save points. Yeah, so it's like, oh, man, made it to a new bonfire. Like, And the, and the, the, the kind of the cadence of how that works, is, I think it had been perfected in games like Symphony of the Night back in the PlayStation 1. You know, it's like, oh, shit, I just made it to a save point. Thank God. And that sensation is so rewarding. Uh, and in in Demon Souls, Dark Souls, and Bloodborne, that pacing is perfectly. Mm-hmm. You know, they're, they're perfectly spaced so that you have that sensation. Um, whereas, I think Jacob is saying in Dark Souls 2 and 3, they're either, like, oddly too... too far apart or too more often way too close together Mm -hmm. to where you don't feel the satisfaction it's like I didn't earn this it just randomly gave this to me Mm -hmm. and I'm very against that sensation I mean it's kind of in a weird way it's my problem with Assassin's Creed you know it's (sighs) I'm not against open world bite me (laughs) I'm not against open world games with climbing in them. I'm against games that constantly feel like they need to reinforce me. Like they need to hold my hand constantly. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, hey, buddy, I, I, I could lose and that's okay. You know. Because you're a loser baby. So call so me maybe. Why don't you kill me? Oh, yeah. The, I, I was trying to be funny by referencing um call me maybe yes which is something I I, I don't know about much and but um <laughs> the so uh, here's my number so call me maybe there but I'm I'm a loser by back is is a song I know intimately <laughs> <laughs> oh God. fuck fuck great motion blur you got a great that motion blur is on point. <laughs> Silver lining. Oh, F Silver lining. You. God damn it. Christ, man. Just give me some blood vials. In 2015, this game looked great. You have to admit, right? It did look... I mean... Uh, okay. So it's kind of like... Okay. It also came out after the Order... Yeah. The Order 1886, which had the same aesthetic, more or less. And, and looked... Because it was a linear six-hour game... And with Alien like a much bigger budget by a much like more tech savvy tech house, like it, yeah, the order looked significantly better. Looks significantly better, but I think like Bloodborne has great art direction. Uh, it, it's more adventurous. The order, the order eighteen eighty six, um, it's all very measured. You know, it's it. It doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like it's hard to detect the passion. Obviously, there was passion because of how meticulous it was, but you can't feel the passion, you know? Man, I needed that. Now I wonder if I should just go grind these guys for a while. (laughs) Um, When they're uh, on the floor unconscious? Uh, uh, Silent Hill 2 style. (laughs) Hey, wait, hey, what? what, what, Hey, whoa, whoa. Sorry, was that you or me? (laughs) Um, I wonder if I can get a level. Because I think before we call it an episode, I do want to go see Father Gascoigne. 
So maybe get a level and sprint to Father Gascoigne. I don't know. Do you think you can take the cleric? Cleric beast is way easier than Gascoigne. Well, there's no like real reason to fight the cleric beast. Where's that uh, doll? I mean, oh, where is she? It's fucking weird. Oh, she's probably over by the grave, right? She sometimes hangs out over there. Uh, over here? Yeah, the left. Oh. oh, hey, doll. Welcome. What is it? She's awesome. Nope, I don't have enough. <laughs> it is fun to learn about how all of this stuff works and and the doll and and she, who she is and y the world before the hunters and what it all means and how skeevy it is. Mm -hmm. It's uh, in on so many levels. You know, yeah, you know, you got the eight like a uh, what would be the term. Um, multifaceted that but um, um, you've like, been trying to stop saying um oh sorry yes thank you for calling me on it uh, um. <laughs> sorry <laughs> don't apologize to me apologize to yourself that's what I was doing you're not even here buddy um, I'm not your buddy friend Cosmic horror. Come on, you're uh, not going to continue um, that up. You're not going to follow up the. You're not my friend, guy. Okay, thank you. There you go. Thank you. You're not my fun guy. <laughs> ah. Hey, take on this cleric beast. Take it on. It's funny that um, I've seen multiple threads online about people who, damn it, simply have spent ten hours and cannot defeat the cleric beast. No. The very easiest boss in the game. Is it the easiest boss? The cleric Beast is the easiest boss. I don't know about that. Okay, okay, who's the easier boss? Rom. <laughs> okay, Rom, people, everybody swears Rom is the toughest. Uh, I don't think so. For me, Rom is easier than Cleric Beast, but that's just the, you know, weird way in which my brain works. Uh, obviously. There's like, uh, like the shadows of Yarnum are pretty easy. Oh, okay. That's, that's one of the ones that are the fucking tough ones to me. Uh, what's weird is it's like, yeah, so it's like, Souls games are like great for, uh, um, like some bosses, like some people will just have a really hard time with. And then for some reason, it's not quite like the controller's not quite like interacting, right? I don't know why. Oh. It's kind of like, for some reason, like the Maybe. moving uh, to the right is oddly slow. Oh, shoot. Or maybe you just can't sprint in oh. battle or something when you're locked on. Oh, that may be the case. I'm just kind of used to Sekiro. I, I think maybe that is your... Damn it. The cleric piece is shaped like lizard. <laughs> yeah, with one really big arm. No, I mean, it's like how thin she is in the middle. Oh. Um, but like I'm somebody who's not good at games. I'm just I just don't have the reflexes and never have. Oh, God damn it. Um, but Bloodborne was the only game in the Soul series, and just the only game at all that you have the ability in the Souls games to log on online and help help people defeat tough bosses. Did and you say that was the only game? It's no, it's the only game where I oh I had the ability to oh okay you know I and I would hang out outside of the the boss gates for Rom and for the blood uh, blood star beast you know the oh, infamously God. two diff most difficult bosses in this game and I'd be like for some reason the way my brain works I just can defeat those bosses with no trouble. And it's not because I'm good at this game, because I'm not. It just, for some reason, God. normal people cannot deal with those. Damn it! That sucked. Um, you suck. Well, so we just leave it on a disappointing note, I guess, unless you want to give it a try. 
Oh, dude, dude, I haven't been, I haven't been playing in. <laughs> no. Okay, that's not happening. I feel like honestly, Sekiro is easier. Oh no, it is not. I feel like I, it, I can. You're li- more used to Sekiro, is what you mean. Maybe, but like when I, if I had Sekiro booted up right now, I could go and beat like any boss first try. Okay. That's you're comparing DDR to Bloodborne here. Like, you know, it's like, oh, I got really good at DDR, therefore I jumped into Bloodborne and say, oh, this is really tough just because you're not used to it. Sekiro is a rhythm game with stealth elements occasionally. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is a challenging rhythm game. I think the thing is, like, so many of the Bloodborne bosses, like, I, I'm a Souls player who will summon help. Like on, on on like every boss, not the first time, but after the first time, I'll just straight up like I'm summoning as much help as I can get. I just like I'm not playing for the bosses. Sekiro because they took out that summon feature, I had to fight the bosses, so I just like actually like quote got good and learned them. Um, and what's funny is that I like didn't pony up for a PlayStation Plus subscription when playing Dark Souls Three. And so I played through that whole game without assistance. And despite me being, like, way less proficient at video games than Jacob, you know. And well, it, I did not, have to come and fight a boss for you. You, you eventually did. Um, but, I mean, the thing is, I think you're selling yourself short is what I mean. Oh. I, I think that you have the escape valve that you gave it to yourself more than you probably needed it. Because even oh, I'm sure. like somebody like me who's who sucks at video games. Joe sucks at video games. Um Anyway. I uh, yeah, it's this game rocks. <laughs> Long New story Z- short, you know what? New let's Zealand get back on rocks. <laughs> yeah, with uh, four exclamation marks. And this art direction is amazing. Well we hope to see you next time, everybody. Bye. Oh, oh no. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. Ah. You survived. See you then. Bye.